How many of you know the weir? A few. This is an innovation that's 80 years old, started in 1934. Okay? And, and it is the secret weapon of why the economy of Switzerland is more stable than its neighbors. Okay? We have proven three articles published in peer reviews demonstrating what I'm just saying. And nobody knocks about it because it breaks the paradigm of a single currency. The Weir Bank has a dual currency bank with a quarter of all the businesses in Switzerland participating. The Euro, I've been involved in the Euro. I was actually responsible for the design of the Agri system when I was at the Central Bank in Belgium. It should have been introduced as a complementary currency. When I told that, I was sent out of the picture. Why is it not possible for the Greeks to accept euros and still have a, for, 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 from Turin and have another currency, either city or a region or a country level, to do the other stuff? It would have a problem, the problems that we currently have. Now, let me tell you, the cleverest country with the euro has been England. They're in and out without saying it. If you're a business that is depending a lot on euros in Switzerland, you can bring, produce your reports to your shareholders, to the government, in euros, and pay your taxes in euros. It's your choice. So it's doable, but you know, they have not made noise about it. What's currently being discussed in the world is to take away from the banks the capacity to create money. This is serious. This is done at the IMF level. The Bank of England has spilled the beans officially about six weeks ago by publishing a report that banks create money. They're not playing intermediary roles, they're creators. And that is not good. That's the Financial Times saying that. I claim that as similar to the Pope publicly saying we have a problem with the virginity of Mary. Now, at the supranational level, I've been working on a proposal for a Terra currency that makes it profitable to think long term. I don't have time to talk about that. But it is a possibility to actually realign shareholders' interest with long term thinking, which we currently do not have and makes illegitimate most of the business world towards our future generations, and even today. We can reverse the hourglass, I claim. But conclusion, there are a number of forms of capital. Financial is only one. We have human capital, social capital, institutional capital, built capital, natural capital, all these things. We are only driving the whole system now with one, the financial capital and conventional money. We can do it with other tools. An ecosystem makes that possible. 